welcome back to my channel Welshman Reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at the Zavi exclusive sci-fi destination uh, steelbook set. So if you've seen my previous videos I did do a review for, I've only, I only bought the one before and that was the Blade Runner Final Cut one. So I did a review for that in my, uh, in an earlier video. So Zavi had a bit of a sale going on for his birthday, 12th birthday I think. So I thought I would pick up the others. So uh, I think I, with, with a deal and all that, because um, I think if you put the Reddit into uh, the voucher section and all that, you get a little, you get 12% off. So I think overall uh, I picked up five of them. I picked up the other five. I think, uh, yeah, Blade Runner was the sixth one. So I think I picked them up for like... Uh, Ten pound each, or just over a tenner each. So not bad, not a bad deal to be honest. Uh, I have wanted them, but I weren't going to pay full price. I wasn't. So we will have a quick look at each one. So the first one they brought out was Forbidden Planet. So this one was directed by Fred M. Wilcox, and it came out in 1956. I think people will remember this being more because Leslie Nielsen was in this movie. And all that when he was doing serious films before he started uh, uh, delving into um, comedies and all that. So, like I said, I, I love the designs of these. Um, I think I said it with my Blade Runner one. They're simple designs, but I like how they feel like the old, very old posters and all that. So, there's a quick look at the back of the uh, J card. So, it's just paper one it is. It is a little write-up and special features. It is. So we will take that off. And uh, that's another thing that people remember as well. The robot and all that. Very uh, distinctive and all that. It is. So we'll take that off. Throw to one side. So. Let's put that to one side. Sorry. So we will open it up. If I can open it up. Difficult. So each one comes with... A poster so the posters are pretty much the same design as on the front page so a small little a3 poster oh it's a class sorry it's not the same design it's the classic poster from the movies so again very nice it is i wouldn't mind uh, framing all these putting them up on the wall i always like the old classic posters and all they always seem to be a bit more effort into the into the posters back in the day so we'll have a quick look on the inside so there's most of them these are all blu-rays and then you have the picture up there of the crew and the robot so quick look again so kind of like a wrap around but with the, the frame around the uh, pictures but like i said very nice very nice color it is i like how each one Pretty much has a different colour around the bit, around the um, frame of the pictures, but we will come across that. So that's Forbidden Planet. So that was the first one they brought out, and then on to the second one. It was George Lucas's first directed uh, movie. Is a THX one one three eight. So this is the director's cut. It is so. Let's get the J card off our quickly. So there it is. Special features, a little write up of the movie, a couple of pictures there. So uh, nice one. Um, and then a nice poster. I don't really know what the movie's about. I don't ride into the future. It says, but yeah. These will be future watches, to be honest. So, not the best uh, cover. Probably the weakest out of the lot. It is. But still very nice. Simplistic. And all that. Sometimes the simpler designs are the best. So, we'll have a look there. There's same picture as on the back it was. Two guys on the motorcycles. And again, just... An ordinary Blu-ray for these, and then the poster. Yep, 
Very nice. I do like the old ones, like I said. Not too fast on this one, though, to be honest. It is. Seems more like a Photoshop job. It does. But yeah, still. Uh, next one we have is Logan's Run. I apologize for that because I never said this came out in 1971. It did. So then we get on to the third one, which was Logan's Run. So this was directed. It's on the back, I think. And, uh, yeah, Michael Anderson thing. And uh, stars uh, Michael York, who I think most people remember him being the, uh, uh, is it Austin Powers' boss in Austin Powers' movies. It is. So there we have the back air. Yeah. Couple of photos, re, re, uh, right up of the movie again, and special features, and we have that. Then, very nice indeed. This is uh, definitely up there as one of my favourite of the bunch. A world, a perfect world of total pleasure. So another one. I don't really know much about this movie. I don't, but again, very nice wrap around. Like I said. Again, uh, different colours on the thing. You might think the other one was the same colour, but I think it was a lighter green. So we get a bit of a lighter, very pale yellow-ish cover beer. And then, again, a close-up of one of the pictures on the back of the J card by there for the inside. And the Blu-ray. And then we get the classic poster and everyone... If you've known the movie, even if you haven't seen it, you know what the poster is. It's a very, very nice poster. It is. Very well detailed. It is. So, yeah, another cracker. Then we get on to number four, which is Steven Spielberg's AI, Artificial Intelligence. So I think I've only ever seen this the once and all, and I don't really remember much about it. I don't, so definitely have to be a rewatch. I think I know main the story is they made him to replace a son, is it or something? But yeah, like I said, it's been a long time since I watched this one. It is not one of his most popular movies. It's not, but still. I'll have to give it a watch. So, on the back there. So, uh, this came out in... Oh. 2001. That's it. 2001. This came out then. And all that. So, nice little read-up of the movie there. Yeah. Special features. Couple of pictures. Good stars Jude Law and... Um, oh, I forgot his name. His name. Oh, that's right there. Haley Joel Os uh, Hosmond. So, very nice. So, very nice design, it is, of their uh, theme park, is it, that's part of the movie, it is, open it up, very nice design, definitely up as one of my favourite, might be my favourite actually, it is, like I said, different colour again, more of a paler green on the framework. But very nice. Now we go into the thing. Very simplistic uh, poster. But it works, I think, for the movie. David is 11 years old. He weighs 60 pounds. He is 4 feet 6 inches tall. He has brown hair. His love is real, but he is not. So, yeah. Again, very nice indeed. And then. We have the Blu-ray. Pity it didn't come 4K. Seems it's more of a later movie. And then we have Scene Blair, which I'm not too sure. Is that an alien? Like I said, I haven't watched this movie for so long. I can't remember what it is. But again, another cracker. And then the last one I bought was number five, which is Cloud Atlas. So, this movie stars Tom Hanks and Halle Berry, and it is directed by three people. So it was, um, oh, I 
I got it here. Lana Wachowski, Lily Wachowski, and Tom Taikwa. I think you say it. So, I've heard this is supposed to be a really good film. I know some people don't really think it is. But again, I haven't seen it, so I'm not going to judge it. I'm not. I do like definitely a bit some of the favourite thing. Oh, it's a difficult one to open. There we go. So, we open it up, show a bit thing. So, I couldn't tell you what the movie's about, but that is very nice artwork indeed. It is, like I said, very simplistic, but I think it's worth it. I think they're really good. It is. And then we get to the poster, which uh, you pretty much get to. You can see the difference in time of what posters become. And beyond, most posters are like this now these days, where they just put all the characters on the front, overlapping each other. It is. So, still a nice poster. <sighs> Generic for what it is these days. And then the middle there, Harley Berry and uh, Tom Hanks. And we get a nice Blu ray, indeed. Pity they didn't, like I said, the later ones never came with more um, 4K. It ain't really, because the only one that did, and I'll only give you a quick look, was the Blade Runner one. I'm not going to go into depth in this, because I have done a video, a past, uh, past video for it, if you want to go back and have a look. But again, like I said, very nice indeed, and still on stock, and still in stock on Zavi, and I think it's they're well worth a pickup to be honest. Very nice, especially if you're a steelbook collector. I think they're very beautiful steelbooks. I love the simplistic design of them, and all. I like the old day, uh, olden time uh, posters. But yeah, very nice indeed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and tell me what you thought of these uh, steel books or if you're going to pick them up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time.